you're going to be working with exhaust components, so make sure the vehicle is cold before you start this. You're also going to need to safely raise and support it. If you need additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. While access to the oxygen sensor is from below the vehicle, the connection is located in the wiring loom behind the intake manifold, red arrow, at the rear of the engine bay. Begin by locating the wiring connection for the O2 sensor. It will be a circular plug, red arrow, unless someone has used a universal connection when replacing a sensor in the past. Unplug the connection and move to underneath the vehicle. If you cannot find the oxygen sensor connection from above, you can remove the sensor, then trace the wires up. With the vehicle safely raised and supported and the exhaust cool, locate the O2 sensor from underneath the car. Follow the turbo crossover pipe from the exhaust header to where it runs up by the lower control arms. The sensor is located below the turbo on the exhaust input side of the turbo, red arrow. Use a 22 mm crow's foot socket, red arrow, or wrench and remove the sensor from the pipe. Use care as these can get corroded in place and there's not much room to work. You cannot tell if an oxygen sensor is working correctly by just looking at it, red arrow, but you can check for problems with the motor by looking for oil on the sensor. A new sensor should come with a small amount of anti-seize on the threads, yellow arrow. Do not get any anti-seize on the end of the sensor when installing. Always install the sensor by hand until it is seated correctly, and then finish tightening by wrench. You do not want to cross-thread the sensor or you will have a heck of a job in front of you to fix it. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.